the question, how can we be more connected than ever before, while at the same time be more lonely than we ever have been before? It's the basis for a recent report put out by the U.S. Surgeon General. Now, they concluded the U.S. has experienced a loneliness epidemic in this Utah State of Mind report. Jim Spiewak trying to find out what is making us so lonely in this amazingly connected world that we live in. Jim? Mark and Heidi, this report found that Americans are becoming less socially connected over time, and that can really impact our health. Take this example, for instance, according to the report. Being socially disconnected can have the same impact as smoking up to 15 cigarettes a day. I think there's a real important difference between loneliness and being alone. Licensed clinical therapist Jen Oxborough came into the two news studios to record a podcast with us about loneliness and social disconnection. I do think that that thought process of there's a problem with me is often what results in that feeling of loneliness. The U.S. Surgeon General's report titled Our Epidemic of Loneliness and Isolation says if we fail to build a more connected society, we risk our health and well-being. But we've never been more connected than ever before, so how could we possibly be more lonely? I think digital social messaging, virtual connection, should be one of many ways, hopefully, that we connect. I think when it replaces all of the ways that we connect, we start to see that isolation. The report points out people becoming more lonely is not anything new. Loneliness is found in the work, school, and home setting. But in the last decade, social media has given rise to social disconnection. Social media platforms reinforce the notion of perfection, so there's added pressure to be unreasonably perfect. Oxborough says that can act as a filter for connection for those putting more emphasis on being recognized and appreciated in a digital world. You may have a thousand friends on Facebook. Um, how many of those are people that you could, you could call and say, um, I need to talk to somebody. I'm having a hard time. Oxborough likes to think of it this way. Loneliness is a feeling. Social disconnection is a situation. And when they converge, they can have a negative health impact. The report mentions lacking social connection and loneliness is significantly linked to an increased risk of premature death from suicide, impacts on cardiovascular disease, diabetes, infectious disease, cognitive function, depression, anxiety, and self-harm. When there are risk factors in someone's life, whether you're a child or an adult, you are much more likely to isolate. You are much more likely to be sedentary, right? If, if things are scary at home, I'm not going to invite my friends over to play. And if those behaviors start in childhood, they are much more likely to carry into adulthood. If something feels off to you, if you have a concern, validate that for yourself and then find a safe way to talk about that, a respectful way to talk about that. And there is a real economic impact to loneliness. According to the report, loneliness accounts for $6.7 billion in excess Medicare spending each and every year due to increased hospital and extended nursing care costs. Now, the cost to employers, $154 billion in employee lost employee production because of loneliness. Now, you can watch our full interview with Jen. It's about 30 or 40 minutes long. We've posted it over on our YouTube page, and I've also linked the full loneliness report from the U.S. Surgeon General. You can find it in this story over at KUTV.com. We're reporting live tonight, Jim Spiewak, KUTV 2 News.